Coach, your pitching staff has been fantastic over the last couple of years, nationally ranked in a variety of categories. Tell us about your starting pitching this year. Oh, man, uh, we're very fortunate. That we have a, uh, I think depth is definitely a strong point of our staff, um, uh, which is good. Obviously, you want to have strong pitching, uh, have that be a strong point of your team. But uh, our, our number one is going to be Robert Brown. Um, returns as our number one, was, uh, was selected as an all-region pitcher last year by the ABCA. Um, and has, has really shown to be a guy that knows how to pitch and understand what he's trying to do uh, and to keep hitters off balance and get them out because ultimately that's what we're trying to do. Uh, other guys that are right now competing for starting opportunities, um, Scott Roselli uh, is a junior from Florida that uh, I think is going to have a really good chance to get in there and, and start probably as our number two starter and uh, has done a really good job the second half of the fall and early part of the spring of establishing that, that uh, He's ready to potentially move into a, a starting uh, role on the mound for us. Uh, some other guys that are competing for what would be the third and fourth starter uh, roles right now. I think that they're still those doors are still open. Competition is still going on. Uh, Johnny Lingo is a senior transfer. Um, I transferred in last year as a junior, but a senior now, of course, has starting experience. Uh, was our number three starter last year, and he's looking to improve upon his his 2010 season, his 2010 numbers. Uh, Logan Brady, uh, who joined us last year as well, uh, left-hander, soft throwing left-hander that I think that uh, has, has works as hard as anybody we have uh, to try to prepare himself to go out and perform well, and, and uh, is battling for an opportunity. And then a guy that's probably made made the the most progress uh, from year one to year two is Nick Bowers. He's a sophomore right-handed pitcher uh, from the Atlanta area that uh, has has impressed a lot of people. Uh, with his performance, performance, and that's attributed to what he's done in the offseason. He, he spent all summer playing and uh, came back in tremendous shape as a sophomore, and that's just guided his, his development along here through the fall. And he's going to push for some early innings uh, as we get going here with our 2011 season. Coach Wash, over your tenure as a Scott Skipper, I've noticed that you've had a lot of confidence in your bullpen. Tell us a little bit about who's going to be in that bullpen this year. Well, we've got some diversity. Uh, we've, we've got some, some velo, we've got some, some off-speed guys, we've got some different arm, ang arm angles, and I think we're going to create some, some quality matchups that we'd be looking for because we have some uh, diversity but also experience within our bullpen. Uh, some guys that have experience already uh, that we return, Josh McKenzie uh, is a guy that's pitched primarily out of the pen, uh, done a really good job for us here uh, going into his senior year. He'll be a guy that will be competing out of the pen. Um, Clint Helton, who, who probably made uh, uh, his most progress last season, um, pitched out of the pen and again will be a guy that will be um, uh, counted on to, to be a guy that's going to be able to come in and get uh, one or two outs or two innings uh, worth of outs. So we're excited to have Clint back. Uh, Wes Dobson is a, is a junior from, from uh, Cartersville, uh, Georgia, and for, for the last two seasons has had a an outstanding uh, ERA, um, an ERA that's, that's been in the area of two both years, and a guy that um, has definitely shown to be comfortable in late game situations, and that's obviously something that we're looking for with a, with a reliever. Um, so we're, we're excited about the option he presents. Some other guys joining the mix, uh, probably going to use Mark Morales uh, out of the bullpen this year. Um, logged most of his innings last year as a starter for us and probably going to utilize him and, and his strengths out of the bullpen. He's a, a senior from New Mexico, a uh, right-handed pitcher who's got real good skills and uh, continues day by day to make progress in terms of understanding the pitching process and, and uh, understand what he needs to do to be successful on the mound. The three other guys that I think they're really going to uh, have an impact for us on the mound this year, uh, all are newcomers, uh, just joined our program this past fall. Uh, two are junior college transfers, um, Austin Patton, and uh, Cody Midget, who both transferred in from Motley State Community College. Uh, Austin, a lefty, and, and Cody, a righty, I think that uh, we're excited about um, the, the experience that they bring um, uh, to us. They both logged innings um, and, uh, at Motlow, and I think are guys that are going to be counted on out of the pen to, to, to get guys out. And it might be one out, outing, and it might be a, a two inning outing, whatever, wherever it fits in between. I think those guys are well suited to handle that kind of job. Uh, and Nick Dean is a, a freshman uh, from North Georgia that I uh, mentioned him briefly uh, in the infield play, middle infield play. He's a guy that I think over his career is going to do some outstanding things for us. Um, I've been very excited with his, with his demeanor and his temperament and the way he handles himself. 
Um, I think that lends to him balancing being a pitcher and a position player. Because that is tough at the college level because it doesn't matter what you do, it, it, it impacts your reps day to day. Uh, but he's going to do a good job. I can see him uh, feeling a role out of the pen this year and, and seeing that role uh, develop uh, and come along as the season goes, goes forward. Some of the young pitchers we have, uh, you know, I certainly think that they've got a chance to, to very much help us uh, as, as 2011 goes on, but I think uh, ultimately into their sophomore, junior, senior years, guys that are really going to develop to be, you know, could be frontline starters and, and major you know, role guys out of the bullpen, uh, potential closes for us. Um, but uh, Kevin Clifford's a, a right-handed pitcher from uh, the Atlanta area, uh, just north of Atlanta, and uh, has done a good job. He's shown you know, good ability, good skills at this point, and continues to kind of refine what he's doing on the mound. And I expect him to, to, to continue to be competitive. Uh, Chris Sutherland is a, a freshman from Smyrna that uh, um, you know, has adapted well. He was better at the end of the fall and has been very good here in the first couple weeks of the spring. Uh, suggesting he's a guy that, that over time is really going to have a chance to help us. And, uh, and f a few other guys I think that down the road are, are certainly going to help uh, contribute to our success. Uh, a guy like, like Matt Dyer, a freshman from Atlanta. Uh, Dan Rosselli, um, a freshman from South Florida. Uh, Trevor Brackett is a uh, freshman from, from the Greensboro area, North Carolina. All guys that I think really have a chance to help us uh, as we're plugging along and as, as their careers go along here at Maryville College. Coach, with this uh, great pitching staff you have, uh, last year Jamie Davis was your uh, receiver behind the plates, really tough to replace an all-conference performer. Tell us who your backstops will be in 2011. Well, you're right. It is it's tough to replace a guy like Jamie Davis, who uh, um, very fiery guy. Um, not necessarily outspoken fiery, but just a fiery competitor that uh, did a great job both uh, behind the plate and, and at the plate as our, you know, from, from the catching position. Um, so it will be tough to replace him, but we're excited about some of the guys that are, that are here. And it's a very even group. Uh, I think that there's very, very little that separates these guys um, as of today. Uh, right now, the, the Sam Waltemeyer um, is, a, is a junior from, from right here in Alcoa. And uh, he's, he's penciled in as the guy that will that'll start opening day. Um, done a good job uh, adjusting to what we're asking him to do. And I think he's been, been very stable uh, to date with, with his performances. Uh, a couple other guys, uh, Josh Anderson is a, a senior, uh, also from Alcoa. And uh, a guy that's, that's been a squadman here to date and a guy that's continued to develop and, and um, you know, put himself in a position that he needs to be um, you know, looked at as a possible guy to get innings somewhere. Um, defensively, Josh is, is pretty talented, and, and I think that that's where his strength lies, and I can see him being a guy that, that uh, uh, comes into ball games late for us. Two young guys we're really excited about, I think, um, uh, have a chance to help us now, obviously, but also into the future, um, and that's uh, Christian Stevens, who's a, a freshman from Dublin, Georgia. Um, very strong guy, um, you know, solid arm and continues to refine his skills um, behind the plate and, and, at, the, uh, and at the plate uh, as far as what he's trying to accomplish. But skill-wise, very talented and, and a guy that uh, is shown to be very competitive to point. Uh, and the fourth uh, of the group, um, Travis Skates, a freshman catcher here from, from Knoxville, from Bearden High School, that uh, um, I think is, has opened up a lot of eyes since he got here. I think defensively, we had a, a pulse on him that he, he'd provide um, solid defense for us, but I think offensively that's that's where he's he's uh, demonstrated the most progress to date. Um, you know, above and over uh, everything with the catching position, those guys got to command the pitching staff and, and control control what we're you know how things are run, and uh, and that's what we're asking of those guys. And offensively, you know, they're gonna they're going to you know provide some things for us, but uh, as of right now, we're we're excited about that group of catchers.